Well, hello and good morning from Jim in his shop. Thanks for coming and watching me work on this radio here. This is the, uh, this is called a Florida. That's the name of it. And uh, I forgot who makes this, who makes this radio. Uh, I think it's a Grayet. Um, huh, how do you like that? The brand name's not actually on it. But uh, I did work on this radio about one year ago. The uh, first time I took a shot at it. And uh, it wasn't in very good shape at that time. It had tubes missing and uh, other, other things that had to be done to it. They were all done. It's back in my shop again because someone's interested in purchasing it. And I want to go over it, just double check everything, make sure everything's in good shape. And uh, as I'm scanning around here, I do see something a little bit curious. Let's let's take a little bit of a, a closer look right at this here. And, uh, a little more light on it. Now, like I say, this went through my shop about a year ago when I brought it up to speed. And this is just a checkup. So. I don't think I noticed this last time it was in. So, what I'm showing you, just a little bit out of focus, is uh, there's two cut wires here. It's a yellow one and a black one. Cut free there. That's very interesting. Now, yeah. I guess I'd have to trace these other black and yellow ones and see where they go. I thought it was the light supply at first, but I see the light. The light, oddly enough, here's the light. The light, let me just, I just twist it in. The light, you follow the wire. It's getting its power from the tube here. Now this is kind of a strange place to pick up the power for the light. It's a little bit strange. And you know, when I look in this set, it's got two clips. There's one there. There's one there. And they're meant to hold these, these lights, or light. See the plastic clip here? This one's broken, so it goes on. It just falls off. That's why this is a, kind of flopping around. But the point is, you put one light here or one light there, and the front of this, this panel will only be lit on one side. This thing really needs two lights. So I'm very curious now if this isn't the light supply, light bulb supply voltage here, and someone's cut them away and for some reason installed this. You know, it doesn't add up. It doesn't make a lot of sense. None of this makes a lot of sense. So, so I'm curious about that light, and we really do need two lights in this radio. So I might have to rig something up for that. And is there anything else? Let's see. We uh, I played it last night. The FM seemed very nice. A little weak on the lower end of the band. I'm not sure what to do about that. Is it the lower end or the higher end? It's it's the left end, which would normally be lower. But the numbers actually run backwards here on the FM dial. Oddly enough. So this is the lower higher end here, and of course, the favorite local station here in Toronto. Uh, rock and roll music station is located right up at the high end here that a lot of people want to listen to so it's always important to check that one that one station well I think we should turn it back on and uh, oh I want to try to find the schematic for it in the alignment instructions that's what I really need to find and I should have done that before I started the uh, video but I didn't so I'm gonna go do that now and see if I can find the uh, find what I need I'll be back okay so we still have the radio operating and uh, we're gonna focus on this magic eye here now, fortunately these don't last forever and this one might just have to be replaced so let's you know when we look at it in bright light I really don't see anything on it, but let's turn the lights out and see what's really there, because I'll bet you there is something there. And there's what's there. 
Now I'm gonna tune. I'm gonna switch the radio to FM. Why is this radio so quiet suddenly? Hmm. Why come I went so quiet? I turn the lights on. Just because I haven't tuned it? Hey, where'd the radio go? What's happening? This is not so good. Hmm. Doing so good, is it? It should be reacting to all that. Oh. Something not so good there. Let's go back to FM again. Please. <laughs> wow. And the volume down was the volume up. I had that backwards too. That's not a very good response at all. Now there could be a couple things happening here. Um, what what typically happens with these bulbs, these uh, magic eyes, and, and these are fairly modern ones. These are the I believe these are the last ones that come out from the early circular ones that were out in the 30s, 1930s. This was 1960. Um, there's a resistor associated with these, and I think it's sitting right there, um, that typically fails. So I think that's the first thing that we'll check. And that resistor is basic, basically a uh, cathode resistor. At least that's how it is on the earlier models. Exactly what's going on here, I'm not 100% sure, but let's let's check this out and see what uh, see what resistance we've got. So I got to cut the power here. So I don't want to do that with the power on. And I'm expecting it to be around 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 a thousand or so. happening there. We're getting nothing. Getting like an open circuit on this. 
I'm on the two mega ohm scale now. There we go. Now we're reading something. About half a mega ohm. About half a mega ohm. They have no schematic to verify that, and they've got it covered here. I, I can't see the value of it. Have to cut away the cover and examine the uh, examine the resistor, and see what the value is supposed to be compared to what I'm measuring. But it sounds way high to me. Now, my understanding these are usually cathode resistors, around a thousand or so. Now how am I going to nip away this little this little thing here? It's going to be just a little bit challenging. Well, let's just start with the cutters. Oh, this thing's just going to break away. It's a little bit cooked. I don't have to even take it off. If I can get it open and see the enough to see the uh, colors, assuming there's colors on the resistor. I think this is going to be so busted up in the end it's going to be junk. Okay, it's split right open there. Okay, I can read the value now. Take a good close look at that. camera will focus here. You make that out to be yellow, yellow, uh, something yellow. That's a pretty big resistor. Let me look at it under my uh, magnifier here myself. Get a good look at it. 47, you know what, I make that up to be 470k and that's exactly what we measured. So that's not the problem. And the problem probably is the tube itself. Um, With the radio working essentially properly, there's no, no reason to question the B plus or anything like that. And I really don't like the idea of connecting this uh, the uh, lamp to here. It doesn't strike me as a good idea. Now what about those two cutoff wires I saw earlier at the transformer? And then another matching pair, yellow and black wire, going down under the chassis. Why don't we take a look at that? I have the radio off at the moment so we can mess around here. I'll just put this kind of up in here. And we'll take a look at what's going on with the... Uh, so here's another yellow and black wire. So I, not sure what all that means. Right in here is a yellow and black wire too. Again, no schematic makes all this a little bit tricky to do. So I don't want to flip these radios onto their front face because the uh, well, let's see, this one looks pretty rugged. Some of them are pretty flimsy, and the front face will actually bend around, or the supporting brackets will bend. Then you end up with the pointer messed up. This one looks pretty rugged this way. Just, it's going a long ways over. Okay, what's, what's it on? Okay, it's on the big transformer. So I already see where those wires are going.
That's that yellow and black pair coming out of there. Um, right here. And they go right to that tube there, and look, I can see high voltage dust on them. So are those, are those the right ones? And yellow and black may mean absolutely nothing. Guessing is the rectifier tube. Not really sure, but uh, it doesn't look like any place to hook up a light bulb. That's for sure. about the light bulbs. Uh, let's see what I've got here in my stock on uh, light bulbs. Well, I can't find my... Uh, I'm sure I have two nice light sockets that would fit on this radio. And you know what? I cannot find them for the life of me. I've gone and put them somewhere. Of course I put them somewhere. That's not revealing much information, is it? But... Uh, Son of a gun. Well, that's okay. I can get some uh, proper sockets and uh, put two lights on this radio. It really needs two lights at the front. And all I can do about the uh, bulb here, or the uh, magic eye, Ooh. what's going on there? Ooh. What was that? <laughs> no, I'm not nervous. That was a light bulb. <laughs> Sounds a little like a spark. Yeah. No, I'm not nervous when I'm doing this. No. <laughs> um, looks like the yeah. Looks like the socket is breaking here. Kind of funny looking, actually. But. Uh, you better be very careful with this or it's going to fall apart or something like that. don't think it's affecting the operation of the bulb at all. The bulb. The tube. So that's it. That's all we can do with this guy. i got to throw him back in his cabinet. He's passed the test. And um, he's good to go. Can't do any more. That's it. See you on the next radio coming soon.